Somebody say, Coach, what you think about Mike Nolan? I say, I don't know a thing about Mike Nolan. I had to go all the way to 2012, uh, and I guess that was the last time he was uh, defense coordinating uh, to get a good idea of what's going on with Mike Nolan. I was 19 years old when this was going on, so trust me. I have no clue here, but I'm going to watch a handful of these films. I got a little bit uh, from his uh, Falcons days. I got some Dolphin stuff. I got some Broncos film as well. Those are the last three coordinating teams that uh, he was coordinating with. Now, granted, how he's coordinating then may be nothing like how he coordinates now. Uh, we just don't have the answers, but if y'all going to ask me, hey, the least I can do is uh, you know just see if I can find some uh, some clues about some of the things he will possibly that he possibly could do. All right, it's the first thing I noticed, man. The Cowboys do a lot of this. He likes to do some funky things with his linebackers. We'll, we'll uh, cover some of that a little bit later. But sometimes he'll run out there with two linebackers and use a safety as a linebacker. You know, we've done that before. Uh, Jeff Heath, just imagine Jeff Heath is this guy as the last guy on the line of scrimmage covering up one of these tight ends, something like that. Uh, so he'll – so the – strong safety would act as a Sam you bump everybody else over Mike and Will um, you know and and we'll just play defense like that so this is something that we're uh, that we're familiar with as Cowboy fans that ain't nothing new there but let's see if we can find a little more information some other little clues and tidbits so how about this I'm gonna run this play um I wanted to just look at the formation. I mean, it's just some some man coverage. I wasn't even looking at the the cornerback play there, but I really wanted to look at the box. The box is uh is interesting there. The front seven, we're gonna let it fly. And this is LaShawn McCoy and and <laughs> Michael Vick running around in circles or whatever. Boy, it's some old ass film, bro. But Let's take a look at the cartel view here. And it looks interesting from the perspective of what we could do with it, right? Now, outside looking in, you may label this as a 3-4 type of look because, I mean, I mean, there's his nose here. He's he, he's a shade, really, is what we call it. Uh, he's, a, he's a shade, but you see these outside guys standing up here. <clears throat> Pardon me. You see these outside guys standing up, so that could give you 3-4 vibes. But um, if I was playing center here, I would identify this as a 3-4. I mean, as a four three. Pardon me. I would identify this as a as a four three, and just consider this uh, this backside stand up guy as a defensive end. And if you count him as a down lineman, which would be one, two, three, four, and then these three linebackers here, you have a solid uh, four three uh, formation here. But what makes this this interesting is you know when we draft, we don't consider stand up rushers you know what i mean we we only draft uh hands in hand, hands in the dirt guys you know we we took taco and passed up on 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 tj watt because he was a stand up guy now if mike nolan is the defensive coordinator will we give more consideration to stand up rushers i mean possibly um it's a thing. Now, he's still a defensive end to me. He's just standing up. Now, um, I'm going to keep watching this film because I don't know if this stand-up guy, if he's going to be a guy that we would draw back and cover sometimes. Um, it just seems like he's doing defensive end things right here. He's just staying at home waiting on cutback, which is the proper thing to do right here. Um, and he's actually rewarded for staying at home because we see the running back come all the way back around. He get cut. He didn't even make the play. What you goofy? Okay, he did kind of make it out. But still, though, um, I think that's, you know, uh, so so you would think, right? Let's go back to the formation. You would think if this was our personnel, let's let's play that game. If this was our personnel, what could we do with this, you know? Um, I don't think we have anybody that's necessarily like a, a blitzing linebacker. I mean, you can consider Jalen that, but Jalen will probably be in one of these spots. But I mean, like a pass rushing linebacker guy. Um, this will be your three tech, of course, one tech five. But you know, who would this guy be? And maybe when we move in, into draft talk, that'll be something that you know we can look at. This formation is different. We still have a have a um, have a backside linebacker standing or a backside edge player standing up or whatever. But hey, Cowboy fans, this hey look hey look don't be mad. All right, don't be don't be mad. Look at your uh, look at this two tech here and look at this three tech right here. All right, I promise, don't be mad. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> y'all don't like that. Oh, <laughs> y'all don't like that. I'm leaving. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to AffordableSticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's AffordableSticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. Cut the cord, man. 
So how about this look, right? This look is pretty interesting. It's pretty fun. Now, I got it in slow motion here uh, for a reason because it's going to happen pretty fast for you. If you ain't, if you ain't focused, it's going to hit you. Let me speed it up a little bit. Let me uh, fast motion and then we'll bring it back and talk about it. But I like that it's something different. You know, I'm, I'm looking for creativity on, on, um, on defense. And I like the fact that it's something different in terms of the, the formation and the actual play that's being executed here. Now, when I'm breaking down defenses, I like to evaluate uh, or at least say what I would call the, you know, the defensive front alignment or whatever. What would I call it? If I was playing center, what would I, you know, call this? And I see this as a 3-3 three, three stack kind of look. And that's that's not normally called in the league. And it's kind of funny looking, but I kind of like the fact that it's not really called in the league, but it's being called here. And it's 2012, so that could have a thing, too. Um but you okay think about it like this right treat your down lineman as this defensive end here as this zero here and then this stand up guy we've already declared him as a down lineman all day he's just standing up right and consider him a um defensive end then let's look at your linebackers right we got this guy let's pretend that this linebacker is displaced he just walked out he just walked outside the end here this linebacker's walked outside the end and this linebacker is your mike he's just down in um in b gap right now so you got this three three stack look right here and these two guys are patrolling your tight ends here and i like the the creativity of the look right but let's take a look at this at this backside here. I know a lot of people don't like stunts, but I like movement. I like gap exchanges. I like slants. Anything that can kind of confuse uh, confuse the offense on what's going on up front. Take a look at your down lineman and this linebacker right here. I'm, and I'm gonna run it slow because um because <clears throat> if you ain't focused, it'll hit you. We're gonna get up field, boom, 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 and we're gonna just simply cross and get inside a gap right fantastic we just manipulated a little bit of room uh with this uh with this uh twist right here we're gonna get up field boom 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 and good job by the outside guy by getting up field and that's really making 65 think that he's coming outside and hell next thing you know if this down lineman is engaged with this left guard then hey if done correctly <laughs> we're just gonna scoot our ass inside and run free i like that i kind of like the the, the the idea of hey let's just run a look like this let's move some guys around and let's run the look like that um hell this guy bailed out and uh who was this whatever whatever 71 I, he just bailed out and we just brought uh we just brought 55 anyway and 55 gave us a great rush on the back side there but um that's just you know i guess that's an example of something that he would do i don't know if he still do it but there's something that he that he did do and i kind of like that you know think about i i say again think about our team and who would who would these guys be take a look at this here's another example we have a three four looking four three and the answer is normally given away if you look at the last guy with their hand in the hand in the dirt right the last guy on this side he is in c gap one two three yes he's in c gap the last guy with his hand in the dirt now this guy's in b gap b gap this guy's in c gap so what that means to me is that with him being in b gap is because he has to be he has to be in b gap because this is our c gap guy so we're going to consider him our defensive end if, if he's going to be in c gap here then he's our defensive end it just happens that his hand is in the dirt so i know both these guys are standing up but he's standing up in c gap he's standing up outside of c-gap which would be d outside of this uh linebacker right here i mean this uh tight end so you got linebacker 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 but you got a edge rusher a standing edge rusher um down guy down guy down guy it's pretty interesting man um i don't know we should draft for this <laughs> it, sound, it sounds like i'm repeating myself but i'm giving different looks here i'm giving different looks um or yeah hell i, 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 I don't mind plugging in Jalen smith right there drafting um Mm. hey how about this are y'all ready y'all ready for this listen peep this out peep this out like if this was Jalen, that was van der and that was uh and that was sean lee like if Jalen, like if Jalen smith was your backside defensive end rushing right here uh this was sean lee assuming sean lee doesn't doesn't, doesn't retire or whatever this is van der Esch. um the, 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 like this is your will this is your mic right here and your sam linebacker can be whoever the hell you want your sam linebacker to be hell this could be Jalen if you want to you can stand up um you can stand up uh robert quinn if you want to or draft somebody i don't know but it's it's interesting i like the uh creativity of it 
This is something that I found interesting. Normally, uh, we'll line up according to strength. That's a very defense thing to do. But when the offense moves the actual strength, then we'll just bump guys over. We don't travel guys. We just kind of bump guys. So uh, what happens is if Sean Lee starts off at Will Linebacker and Joe Thomas starts off at Sam, then the tight end goes in motion. So now we have a different strength. We'll just leave Sean Lee at Sam, and now Joe Thomas becomes the Will. You know what I mean? What we have here is we see the tight end go in motion, and you see these the linebacker is going to travel with him, <laughs> right? So this linebacker is going to travel with him, and you see that the backside linebacker switched as well. The weak side linebacker switched as well, right? He's going to be – let me just run this here. He's going to be our weak side guy, and they're both going to switch. Is that going to be something that we do as well? I thought that was interesting. Um, and that will be – you know, I, I think that's interesting. I kind of like it in a way that uh, that Sean Lee will never – I keep saying Sean Lee or Van Der Esch, whoever the hell, whoever our will linebacker is. Our will linebacker will never be in a situation where he's strong. I, I think the Rams did that a lot to where they'll move it around and they'll make our will linebacker be the strong side guy. So now our will linebacker – linebackers dealing with tight ends and fullbacks and pullers or whatnot then they'll pull and hit us so that was interesting but let's take it with a grain of salt because it was seven years ago <laughs> i was 19 so um but but this was the last time he was coordinating some ball and uh hey man i don't hate it <laughs> i don't hate it plus we got talent man so you know i i would love to to draft and continue to add to the talent that we do have um we'll just kind of cross that road whenever we get there i saw a lot of zone looks i saw some man looks but what but what really stood out to me was the uh was the uh play in the box how we moved around and did funky things with linebackers and stuff like that and we did some gap exchanges and movements and stunts and things like that all right uh i ain't want to hold y'all too long man just kind of want to give y'all an idea of mike of mike nolan and the kind of guy he is okay y'all hold it down for the doski woski man until next time peace after canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen features. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Stick, Smart TVs, Tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven-day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. If you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels4cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it.